It's the first time uh, the Senator Feinstein has debated a challenger in 18 years. That's three terms in the Senate. The last time was back in 2000 against Congressman Tom Campbell. Today's debate was not televised. It was held in the middle of the afternoon when most people are working and live streamed on the Internet, but only if you registered for it. We have a president that makes Richard Nixon look like a choir boy. And it's like hitting your head against a concrete wall. You can march, you can uh, filibuster, you can talk all night. It doesn't change anything. In the first and only debate of the 2018 California U.S. Senate race, which, by the way, was called a conversation, not a debate, the candidates, Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein and her Democratic opponent, State Senator Kevin DeLeon, agreed on one thing that the Trump administration is battling California on almost every significant issue. But they disagreed on how to deal with President Trump in an effective way. De Leon says it's time for a change without actually pointing at Senator Feinstein, but the message was clear. We have folks in Washington, D.C. that have lacked the courage of their convictions to do the right thing by everyday folks. I wish Democrats in Washington would fight like hell for dreamers just the way Donald J. Trump and the Republicans fight like hell for their stupid wall. Feinstein responded by pointing out that it takes more than rallies and strong words to change what's going on in Washington. There is a lock on power in Washington. When you have both houses and the White House controlled by one party, it is extraordinarily difficult. You don't really have an opportunity because you don't control. Asked about their agenda for the coming years, Senator Feinstein said immigration reform is high on her list. One of the things that we are writing now is a comprehensive immigration reform bill. It's been a very long time since immigration policies of this nation have been looked at and reformed. De Leon also cited immigration reform and universal health care, as well as action to address climate change and clean energy. And he stayed on message. It's time for a change to not just be on the sidelines, but on the front lines, mathematically, regardless of what the makeup is in both the House as well as the U.S. Senate. Now, the debate ended with the candidates shaking hands, and when De Leon hugged Feinstein and gave her a peck on the cheek, well, she was very surprised. Now, with less than three weeks to go, Senator Feinstein is still sitting on a healthy lead in the polls, and De Leon's campaign has little funding for TV ads, so he'll continue to campaign with personal appearance events and rallies. Pat, back to you. All right.